f of x equals the 5 just going to stay in front. And this is x squared plus 2x, close parentheses, all to what power? Mm -hmm. 1 over 3. 1 over 3. So what's going to be my box here? That inside x squared plus 2x. Okay. What would I do first? 5 times 1 third. One third. How would I write that? Just 5, five thirds. To the third. Then parentheses, x squared plus 2x to what power? Negative 2 thirds. Perfect. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky. I'm going to make a mistake here. I want you guys to see if you can catch it. Times 2x plus 2. I made a mistake here, see if anyone can catch it. If I wrote that on a test, I'd get it wrong. Is it because you have to distribute the five? Distribute the five, no. Turn the five into the The mistake does not have to do with the five. That's the second part, isn't it? Something in the room. No parentheses. No parentheses. Good, what does PEMDAS tell me to do? Parentheses. Multiply whatever's in parentheses first, then exponent. So in this case, if I had PEMDAS, what would I be doing? I'd be doing 5 thirds, like all of this part, just times 2x. And at the very end, plus 2. Oh. That's wrong. I want to multiply it by the entire derivative. So I need to always put this in parentheses. So anytime you do that derivative of the box, you need to, if there's more than one term, it's not all that common, but if there is more than one term, you need to put it in front. So you might want to put like a little asterisk on this one and just kind of write yourself a note, like if the box has more than one term, put dd box, in parentheses. And really it's if it has like more than one x term, I guess, more than one x term. Because uh, like these ones did have more than one term, but what's the derivative of x plus 2? It's just 1, right? The, the reason this had more than one thing is derivative x squared is 2x plus derivative of x is 1, or 2. two x. Uh, so I have to put that in parentheses to make sure that I'm multiplying this entire thing by that entire thing. Otherwise, if you don't have the parentheses, you type that in the calculator, you put on a test, it, it won't give you the right answer. So I'm fine with you guys boxing this. Um, could we practice rewriting it a little bit better? Sure. What would I do with the negative 2 thirds part? Bring it down. So the denominator would be 3 parentheses, x squared plus 2x to the positive 2 thirds. And where would I put the 2x plus 2? I can actually put that into the numerator. So this would be 5 parentheses 2x plus 2. And that's a perfect answer. Um, could I also uh, write this you know, with a Vertical. radical form? Sure. Yeah. Could I expand 5 and make it like 10x plus 10? Yep. Yeah. I actually saw this on an AP multiple choice, this exact one. Uh, I you know, got pulled from there. And on an AP multiple choice, just to make sure that like students realized that they could work things around, they did actually mark the right answer as 10x plus 10, right? They distributed that over three times, uh, I guess, cube root like that, cube root of x squared plus 2x to the, two, to the second power like that. And that's kind of mean. They could have even been more mean, in my opinion, though, because could they then have factored out a 10? Oh. Made it like 10 parentheses x plus 1. Damn. So they could do some mean stuff. Uh, honestly, you know, for right now, let's just worry about this. You know, if you get this far, you're awesome. We should be happy you were doesn't write these dumb questions. I was about to say that. <laughs> it's going to influence them, bro. All right. So uh, g of x. What would we do here for g of x? What should I do first before I take this derivative? Uh, 